In this week's episode, I talk a little bit about comment systems, take a look back at our old Music Spectacular episodes, and share some of my favorite movies you may never have seen before. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. One way to interact with your blogger's readers is to have a commenting system in place. Now, many blogging platforms already come with a comment system built in, such as Medium and Blogger. There could be a case your platform didn't come with one, or you're just not happy with how the built-in system works. Now, depending on your platform, you could typically use a third-party commenting service. It could be easily as selecting an option in your platform's configuration, or you might have to install a plugin of some kind. Or even you'll need to edit your blog's template and add a bit of HTML and JavaScript code somewhere. There are many commenting services out there, and I would encourage you to search around and find the one that matches your needs. I'm going to highlight the two I'm most familiar with. This doesn't mean these are the best ones to use or the ones you should use. It's just the ones I'm using and most familiar with. The first one is called Discuss, that is spelled D-I-S-Q-U-S. You can find more information about it at Discuss.com. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. I use the Discuss commenting system on all of my blogs, including blogoklahoma.net. I found it easy to implement and manage. Um, it's easy to implement because all you have to do is drop in a little bit of code where you want the comments to display on your page. Discuss has a decent set of management tools that will let you moderate your comments fairly easily. It comes with spam filtering, blocking, and other tools that will let you control who and what gets published. And one of the features that I really like about it is if you turn off anonymous posting, which I recommend you do anyways, um, your, the, your visitors are not required to have a Discuss account, even though that's an option. They can log in with their social media accounts like Facebook, Google, Twitter, and a couple of others. So you might give Discuss a look if you're looking for a new commenting system. The other commenting system I'm going to recommend, which might actually come as a surprise to some of my regular listeners, is Facebook comments. Yeah, I know, that Facebook. <laughs> now, unless your particular platform already has this option rolled in, or you can just add a plug-in, you're going to have to edit and put some code somewhere to make this happen. I'll have a link in the show notes that explains how to install Facebook comments on your blog. Now, I've used Facebook comments on a few sites that I've uh, put together, and I found it fairly easy to use, and it's fairly foolproof. <laughs> it has some okay management tools. You'll have to do some research on that. Now, the real limitation to using Facebook comments, or a plus, depending on how you look at it, is it requires your visitors to have a Facebook account. So that's going to limit who can post a comment. So that's a couple of commenting system options for you to look over. I think having a commenting system on your blog is a good idea as a way to get a conversation going about your posts without having the reader visit a separate website like Facebook or Google Plus to talk about it. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but it's always better to keep people on your site than having them go somewhere else. Now, on the flip side of this, I would also completely understand if you decide not to have a commenting system just to avoid having to manage it or have it turn into a raging inferno. <laughs> You've probably already read in the news, several news media and online magazine websites are disabling their commenting systems and strictly moving to social media for the reader interaction. There are many pluses and minuses for doing this, and each organization has their own reasons. The biggest reasons was the amount of trolling, flame wars, and all-over hate that went on, especially on politically charged articles. It just wasn't worth the headache, and believe me, I can totally relate. <laughs> Matter of fact, last summer I did a podcast episode dedicated to the vitriol I found in comment threads. 
It all depends on the website or the topic on the quality of the comments. Some websites have robust and, for the most part, civil conversations going on, and others are a complete dumpster fire and should be avoided at all cost. I actually have, hanging on my office wall, kind of half joking and half not, a sign that says, never read the comments. And sometimes that's just what you need to do. So if you're thinking about adding a commenting system or wondering if you should even have one, you might consider your audience and what you're planning to post. Still though, I think having a commenting system is a bigger plus than it is a minus. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is, what are your thoughts on comments? I look forward to reading what you write. <laughs> Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the WebRing and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Here are my top five movies that you may have never seen before that I think are really good and will watch them whenever they pop up on cable. <laughs> Number five, Major League, starring Tom Berenger and Charlie Sheen. It's a really good baseball movie. Number four, My Blue Heaven, starring Steve Martin and Rick Moranis. It's a really nice comedy about witness protection. <laughs> Number three, What Dreams May Come, starring Robin Williams and Cuba Gooding Jr. Warning, this drama will make you cry. Number two, His Girl Friday, starring Cary Grant and Rosalind Russell. This is a comedy classic. Please watch this one. And the number one movie that I recommend that you may have never seen before is Noises Off, starring Michael Caine and Carol Burnett. Please, go out of your way to watch this comedy. It's that good. I love this movie. Well, there's my top five movies that you may have never seen. I'll have IMDB links to all of them in the show notes. Please, look for these today when they pop up on cable or on Netflix, Hulu, or your favorite streaming service when you're not sure what you want to watch. The Blog Oklahoma Podcast Music Spectacular was a series of special episodes from 2008 to 2014. In those episodes, I shared some of the best Podsafe music that was available at the time. Those of you unfamiliar with the term Podsafe, it refers to music that was licensed for use by podcasters to play for free in their podcasts. You see, you can't just put any old music you want in your podcast. Well, I guess technically you could. But a few things could happen if you don't have the proper license and permissions to do so. The very least that could happen is you would get a takedown notice for some form and you would have to pull your podcast. Um, you could be hit with large licensing fees and fines. And in the absolute worst case, you could face criminal prosecution. Ooh, bad day there. <laughs> so it's best to play it safe and only use Podsafe music. Now, the music I'm currently using in the podcast as the intro and outro, um, I purchased and properly licensed through a service called Audio Jungle, so I can freely use this music in my podcast. The majority of the music I played in the Music Spectacular episodes was licensed for podcasts from Mevio's Music Alley. Now, Mevio closed its doors many years ago, <laughs> so some of the music that was available back then can now only be heard in archive podcasts such as the Blog Oklahoma Podcast Music Spectacular episodes. In this week's show notes, I'll have a link to all 10 Music Spectacular episodes if you would like to hear them. Um, uh, if you're listening through this uh, with our Roku channel, click on over to the Blog Oklahoma Podcast Archive section. I have a category item just for the Music Spectacular episodes. And since in just a little over a month's time will be the 8th anniversary of the very first Music Spectacular episode I did, I went through the list of all the music that was in those episodes and searched for their match on Spotify to create a Music Spectacular playlist. Now again, I'm sad to say some of the music I just couldn't find. It's lost to history now. <laughs> 
but the great majority of it is in this new Spotify playlist. If you'd like to listen to it, I've set up a shortcut at blogoklahoma.net slash Spotify MS. That is Spotify MS, one word. Also, I have a link to it in the show note, as always. So I hope you enjoy this look back in podcast music history. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? Of course you did. I mention it every episode. Oh, wait, you're new here, aren't you? <laughs> hey, we have our own cafe press store. There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash Blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. There is now well over 11 and a half hours for you to enjoy. You can listen to this playlist on Spotify and on YouTube. I'll have links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of September 11th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 909 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hooray! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Please check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. Music